be true to yourself, be true to the integrity you've learned here, and you'll do okay. Walter Cronkite did not attend Arizona State University, but in the early 1980s, a friend introduced the legendary newsman to a fledgling journalism program that would one day bear his name. My dad and I placed a call to Walter Cronkite and asked if he would be interested in a new kind of journalism school. Valley attorney Tom Chauncey II remembers the day in 1984 when the program officially became the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication, immediately elevating ASU into the national spotlight. He brought his credibility to the school in a way that um, there was no other way to do it. But Walter Cronkite didn't just lend his name to the school. Professors say he involved himself on many levels. He wanted to be there with the students. He wanted to have an influence in their life. Acting as an advisor on set, meeting with students and faculty. Our ASU Walter Cronkite Award. And traveling to Arizona each year to present the Walter Cronkite Award for excellence in journalism. The name Cronkite stands for so many good things in, in journalism, as we talked about trustworthiness, credibility, honesty, accuracy, uh, excellence. We are the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and people say, oh, they listen, they listen to you. 25 years later, Cronkite's impact on the school remains as strong as ever. Now, someone like that serves as, as the ultimate role model. At the school's new campus in downtown Phoenix, signs of Cronkite are everywhere reminding students of the high standards set by someone once called the most trusted man in America. He changed the game by being honest um, and being straight up, which is something you don't, you don't see today. And it's what he stood for that will live on at the Cronkite School long after Cronkite himself. Oh, the world has changed since Walter's day. Walter gave us the news we needed to know. Telling it the way it is at Arizona State University, that's Walter Cronkite's legacy for generations of journalists to come. In Phoenix, Maxine Park, Cronkite News Service.